screen sharing? Yes. Yeah, okay. so. Thanks. Okay, yes. so um, I'm, I'm explaining something here called the, the photon belt, going into the photon belt. And I'm gonna be curious how many of you people have heard of this. I'll explain it just a little bit. This is the shortest physics thing I can do here. Um, uh, our solar system is going through the universe and it goes around the central sun, that one of those spiral arms of the, of the galaxy, it makes a complete revolution. Um, as we go through space, there's a cycle, there's a area of, of, you might say, charged particles, special cosmic area uh, called the photon belt. And the, the solar system is just now going into it, has been going into it, dipping in and out, sort of the outer edges of it for the last, oh, you know, 20 years or so, perhaps. But it's really starting to get more into the photon belt, and it's going to be there for 2,000 years. It's a cycle of 2,000 years in the photon belt, and then 11,000 years or so uh, on the other side before you enter it again. So we're entering the photon belt twice in this, uh, in this particular cycle. Um, so let's go to the next slide here. I think I maybe just have to do this or... Ah, there we go. Uh, there we go. Okay, is that, that in front of it? I don't know. We can't figure out why this is here and how to get. Okay, right. that's all right. Okay, so we as we go around and around, uh, there's a cycle of going around and around. But in this, you can see here we don't go on the same plane. It's like oh, we've been here before, done that. Each time you you go through the photon belt or through, you actually go. Uh, you go uh, in a spiral upwards. And so we're always in a different place, a little, you might say a little higher vibration. So as we go into the photon belt this time, there's a lot of extra uh, uh, gamma rays and neutrinos, various uh, cosmic particles that affect the earth. Our earth's magnet electromagnetic field is changing. It's changing now. The poles are moving and the Van Allen belt is shifting, blah, blah, blah. And the NASA scientists are picking up the effects on the other planets in the solar system and on this one. Uh, but they're mostly trying to keep their mouths shut for the most part. They're not supposed to talk about it too much. But um, the, as we go into this photon belt and we get this increased bombardment, there's more uh, climate change ensues. You can, uh, there's, um, it can affect people's health. More and more people can, and can fall prey to uh, physical health or mental health issues. And so we see in a world today, there's a lot of physical health issues and a lot of mental health issues for sure. Um, cause and effect, we're not, you know, there. So what is this photon belt helps explain this system. Now, yesterday, Brenda, we can uh, now go back to, uh, out of the, maybe, uh, well, you can use, the, yeah, let's get out of the graphics. So we're in a little different place. Brenda Salgado pointed out that we're in, according to their Mayan calendar, that we're going from the fifth sun into the sixth sun. There's a big, the end of a cycle, a very, yes, a very long cycle. And, uh, and there's a lot of changes, all the prophecies, et cetera, et cetera. There are huge things all saying that we're going through this change and it's not going to be necessarily smooth. It's bumpy for a lot of people right now and it may get bumpier and bumpier road here. But at the other end of it, the effect of the photon belt and stuff is that it will upgrade human consciousness in a, a, some fashion or another. I don't understand this very well, but that uh, the key to survival through this period or th to live in this uh, photon belt period is love, a loving heart. That might be the key folks, that the people who have love, uh, loving hearts are the ones that will come out the other end or, or our gen next generations. It may take generations to work out, but that in the end, everybody that's left on earth has loving hearts. You can't get to live here without uh, your heart being really light. And uh, so I like the idea that the world of the future is going to be a world full of loving people with loving hearts, <clears throat> at least tolerant, and that we all live happily ever after in a garden of Eden because we fix up the planet and we live, humans live sanely and wisely and carefully and they are 
respectfully for all life. And that's the future that I see that we're going into as we get into this photon belt thing. And I don't know if this is true at all. I mean, this may be a complete fabrication, but I like it. It gives me hope for the future. It gives me, a, I'm working for a world of harmony, peace, love, and restoration of the planet. And that uh, it's good to have something to grasp on to folks. So if that sounds like a lifesaver to you,